All right, YouTube, David Harry here. And in this video, I'm going to give you a rundown and a bit of a demonstration over what this thing does here, which is a five in one USB C hub by DocTech, very specifically for the iPad Pro. Now, just before I get into this, I would like to let people know that DocTech gave me this interface for free in exchange for an honest review. Also as well, and very impressively, DocTech didn't in any way want to have any involvement in the review, which is a good thing really, because I do not allow manufacturers or resellers to have any influence whatsoever in my reviews. The only kind of information that I do accept off them is technical information that I may be unaware of, or any information that may be useful to the end user or the viewer. So the first thing that I'm going to do is give you a quick look at the box. And as we can see here, it says it's got HDMI on it, it's got USB 3, it also says type C as well and then it says audio now I can confirm that that audio is audio in and audio out and just a quick look at the back of the box and it is telling us that the product number is DD0004 and very importantly it is DisplayPort 1.4 alt mode compatible now onto the USB-C interface itself and as we can see here on this edge, we have got a USB-C connection, which plugs straight into the USB-C port on the side of the iPad Pro. And then on the other edge here, we've got a number of sockets and interfaces. So first off, coming from the left-hand side, we have got a 3.5 millimeter TRRS adapter. And what this is for is for headphone and microphone. I will show that in a little bit. Then next to that, we have got a USB 3 port Next to that, another USB 3 port. Next to that, we have got a HDMI output. And then next to that, we have got a USB-C port, which will do data and power. So what I'm gonna do now is to test the ports on the USB-C hub. And what I have in my hands is a USB-C to SD card adapter. Now what I'm going to do is pop this into the USB-C port on the hub, we should see the card adapter here light up, which will indicate it's receiving power and it's being accessed. And also within this list here of locations in the file manager, we should see something else pop up in here. So first off, let me just pop this in here. So that's in and then boom, little light. And then now let's see, there we go, new location. So let me just kind of center this a bit more into the frame. Now what I'm gonna do here is tap on here, Cam SD, which is the SD card I've just plugged in. Now what I'm gonna do is click on this folder here, private, and I will navigate to some video files. Now, if anyone doesn't know what this is, this is actually the root folder for Sony XAVC-S files from a camcorder. And probably more importantly is to note that these files here are 100 megabits per second video files. So let's see if it plays it okay. All right, YouTube, David Harry here. Now this video is primarily designed for one of my YouTube buddies who is John Lensman Online. Let me just scroll through. And to go to a pair, and, um, the, the, I mean, what is that, they're like a pair of slippers. They really are. Carry on scrolling a bit here. Use this RS cable in, which then links to the mic as well. Now the microphone as well, um, the boom arm, Okay, right, I have to explain something very quickly just now. That video there is 100 megabits per second, and I have had a whole bunch of USB-C adapters that cannot play them files in real time. So straight away, what we can say here is that we are definitely hitting the SD card at a decent speed, because we could see there that the file played perfectly in real time, and I was also able to kind of scroll through the file without any issues at all. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do here is just to make sure that we can also power the iPad Pro using the same USB-C socket on the hub. Now, importantly here, this hub can take up to 100 watts. It will allocate eight watts to itself and then pass the rest of it through to the iPad and also any other peripherals that are connected. So let me connect a power cable. And as we can see straight away there, we have got the charging light come on, which obviously proves to us that the USB-C port does both data and power. Now what I'm going to do is to test the speed on the USB 3 ports. And for that, I'm going to use another SD card reader, which has also got data on it at 100 megabits per second. So let me just pop that in at the side there. Then what we should do is see another location pop up here. There we go, CAM SD once again. So I'll tick on that and I will select 
private. I will go to M4 root. I will go to clip. And let me just see what I've got here. Oh, I've only got a few things. Let me just see if one of these will place. Let me tap on this one. Okay, there we go. All right, YouTube, David Harry here. Now, last week, I went and bought myself a Panasonic VX870, which is this thing here. Now, this is... Okay, as we can see there, that played perfectly well. And once again, that was also a Sony XAVCS file. And also, like I say, it was at 100 megabits per second and it was a 4K file. So that actually proves to us that that USB-C port is also a fast port as well. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is to plug a wireless keyboard and mouse in. So here is the receiver for the keyboard and mouse. So let me just pop that into one of those USB 3 sockets there. Now, the only problem is I don't have a wide enough field the view here to get both of the things in so i'll do one at a time we can definitely see that it's working so there's the mouse there so if i get that just in front of the ipad and start moving it there we can see there's the cursor moving around and highlighting some of the apps there on the home screen now what i'm going to do is go to the browser here so I'll go to Google. In fact, let me just go up here to the top. I'll type in a URL. So for that, let me just put the keyboard in. In fact, let me just move this back a bit. Sorry, this is a bit messy. I just don't have a very wide field of view here to do this with. Although I think we'll get the idea. So what I'm gonna type here is, let's see, amazon.com. Hold on, if I could spell Amazon, that'd be even better. So Amazon.com and then actually, oh, we've got the, the thing come up I want to get to. So there's my mouse again. So I'll tap on there. So that's going to take us to my Amazon store here. And as you can see, I can scroll up and down and stuff. So like I say, I can't get the keyboard and mouse in the frame at the same time properly. But we've just seen the mouse work and the keyboard work. Now, the next thing that I'm going to demonstrate is this audio port down here, which, as I've already said, is a TRRS, 3.5 millimeter jack, which does headphones and microphone. Now, in order to do this, what I'm going to do is go to one of my music bits of software here cubasis and then i will play something so we can hear it playing out of the speaker on the ipad then what i'm going to do is reposition the microphone and then i will plug speakers in so we can hear it so just quickly we should be able to hear this Okay, now that's just to show us that the thing is actually running. Now what I'm gonna have to do here is get a little bit creative because I'm gonna have to pull the microphone down into shot just so you can see what's going on in a second. But first of all, what I'm going to do is use this headphone mic set that I've kind of put together. So first thing is let's pop this into the socket here for the headphone microphone. So that's all in now. Now what's going to happen here, in fact, before I pull the microphone down, let me go back and play this piece here. We won't be able to hear anything play this time because the headphone's plugged in. You might hear something slightly, that'll be the headphone in the background anyway, so I'll stop that. Let me go back to the start of this piece here. Now what I'm going to do, you have to bear with me with this, I'm going to pull the mic down into shot so we can see what's going on. Okay, <laughs> right. I will have dropped off here because the mic has to come right down here. And then there's the headphones going into shots. Oh, this is getting messy, right? So this is just so we can hear that it's coming out the headphones. There we go, so that definitely works. Now what I'm going to do is to show that the microphone input works as well. So let me just, if I can get this right, let me just get past this bit here. So let me just go to this audio track. Let me just put that in and arm it. Hold on. So what I'm going to do is scratch this face and then I'll have to get right in close and start talking to it. Let's see if this works. Hold on. So that should be recording. Oh, no, it's not. Wait, yes, it is. So let me just scratch it like that. Okay, now I'll get right in. Hello, hello. This is a quick test on this microphone to see if I'm recording audio. Although if I am, which I hope it is, it's probably going to be distorted because I'm right on top of this little microphone. Okay, so let me just stop this recording. And as you can see, there's a waveform there. So let me get back down here. Hold on, wait there. It's all going wrong. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to play this back here and hopefully we should hear this on the headphones. So... Let me just take this arm, re take the track out of arm mode and then play it back. Okay. Get right in. 
Hello, hello, this is a quick test on this microphone to see if I'm recording audio, although if I am. As you can see, I'm just going to press uh, play and stop play here on the track. I am, which I hope it is, it's probably going to be distorted because I'm right on top of this. Okay, so I know that's a bit messy, but that will have proven to us that the audio side of the USB-C interface is working great. Now for the last thing to test. So the last thing to test then is the HDMI output from the USB-C dock. So let me just pull the keyboard and mouse to one side here. Let me just pull the iPad away and let me just put the HDMI cable into the HDMI output from the USB-C dock. And then that's connected to my 4K monitor here. I'll just put that back over there. Let me put the keyboard up here. And as we can see, we've now got the iPad coming out onto my 4K monitor. And also, as we can see there, I'm using the mouse. And then let's just see if I open up a browser there. I can obviously use the keyboard to be typing all kinds of weird stuff in there. <laughs> okay, so as we can see, that definitely works for the HDMI output. Now, the only thing that I would say though, as we will see here, we are getting like these pill boxes down the side as we normally would do. And that's because of the aspect ratio of the screen for the iPad not matching 69. So these pill boxes here are normal. The odd thing, like some video footage and things like that, or video apps will play out in full 16.9. However, with this particular setup, we are also getting slight letterboxing here. Now, your mileage may vary as far as this letterboxing is concerned. I know this can change from monitor to monitor and from, like, you know, cable to cable and also interface to interface. However, what we are seeing here is definitely a 4K 60 frames per second output because I've already tested this on some of my capture software. So just to round this up then, there is going to be links in the description where you can go and buy this DocTech USB USB-C hub interface for your iPad Pro. Also, if you found the video of any use and if it's been interesting, please give it a thumbs up. Also, consider subscribing to my channel and clicking on the bell notification icon in the process. And now that's probably me done. So I'm David Harry. Thank you very much for watching this video. Take care and goodbye now.